Hi, my name is Brian Whittingham and I'm running for Charles Turner Home Marker and today I'd like to take you through a workshop for my process of first off sketch and write and the subject today is Renfrewshire. Simple as that. Now once you've done this, if you join in, I, I hope you do, once you've done this you'll end up with a nice wee piece of writing and probably a nice conversation with someone, one of your friends or your family, whatever. So without further ado, as they say, um, I'll show you the process. So the first thing you do is you make up a blank cluster sheet, as so. Now this particular cluster sheet, you just need a felt tip pen and an A4 piece of paper. You draw it like that, and the centre circle is for your subject, whatever that subject may be. For today's example, the subject's going to be Renfrewshire. So if you do that, first off, yeah, simple. Anybody can do this. And each step is designed to pull you a little bit closer into relating to the subject. Second thing you do is you fill it in as per what I've done. Now what I've done is I've got Renfrewshire and I've filled it in with places in Renfrewshire, Glenwood, Aisley, Renfrew, and they're all they're all places that mean something to me personally. So you would do that. If you put around your chart, you would then fill, fill in places that mean something to you personally. Because we're going to write about one of these places. But what we're doing at the moment is unearthing ideas. So if you do that, pull that in. Straightforward, I told you it would be. Anybody could do this. So the next thing you do is you pick one of these places. Now I have done, I've done this sheet as I just showed you, and from it I've picked Barhead Park, Barshaw Park. I've picked Barshaw Park. So I've done this next sheet where I've made Barshaw Park the subject in the centre circle. And then I've put in things rel relating to Barshaw Park. Now the things you put in don't need to be of the present. For example, I know Barshaw Park now has got an outdoor gymnasium of sorts. But it never always had that. But it used to have a miniature train, which isn't running now, I don't think. So you can dip into the past and just put down whatever you want. So I've put the miniature train, I've put the, the boating pond, I've put the golf course, I've put various things to do with Barshaw Park. And you would do that relative to your subject, whatever you've chosen. So that's that step. And just take your time with this. Just try and have a wee, a wee reflection in yourself. And you'll see that as we take each stage, you build up on the picture that's going to latterly get you some writing done. So the next thing we're doing is a memory sketch. And this is my memory sketch of Barshaw Park. You can see it's not going to win any art prizes, which is fine, because we're not doing it for that reason. The reason we're doing it is to mine memories from our head onto the page. And sometimes if we do that graphically with visuals, it comes to us easier than it does only trying to write text down. So you can see what I've put there is I've put the pond, I've put a model yacht, I've put somebody fishing for baggy minis with a bamboo pole cane and the, the net at the end of it and I've put the, the miniature train and people all sitting on it. The guy used to drive it, he, he would wear a hat as if he was a proper train driver and in our imagination that's what we thought, we thought he was. You can see I've put sounds there the, the hoot hoot of the train's whistle and the, the hiss of the train's engine and I've got the sun there, the sun shining up in the corner, very warm day, in my imagination. So there's many, many different things you could put. That could, this could be a, a, a mural and on the wall, I'm not suggesting you do that, however, but you could do that. And anybody can do these exercises, no matter what age you are, anybody can access them. So, and if you want, you can ask your kids to do this along with you, or your partner, or whatever, if you just want to reflect on things on your own, that's fine as well. So that's your memory sketch. And as I say, 
you don't need any talent for drawing. In fact, some of the, the best sketches are done by people who cannot draw. What this does is sometimes something's buried in the recesses of your memory and all of a sudden it clicks and you open it up and then you jot it down. So that's the memory sketch. That's your next stage. So you're well on the way to getting something written. But you've got all this stimuli now, the clustering in the memory sketch. Then the next thing you're going to do is free writing. Now for free writing, the main thing is you've got to get rid of your internal editor. Now, as I'm showing you these slides, I know they're not slides, I know they're bits of paper, but we'll kiddo in there. During lockdown, I've got to improvise. As I'm showing you these slides, if you want, you can just pause your video and you'll be able to have a proper look at them, what I've, what I've said on them. But for this, you need to get rid of your internal editor. Now, the reason I'm saying that is your internal editor keeps stopping you. Anytime we write, the internal editor keeps telling us, no, don't do that. Your spelling's wrong. That's not a good idea. The grammar's wrong. wrong. The punctuation's wrong. Oh, no, 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 you've already said that. No, that's not the right way to say it. It's almost this wee man or a wee woman on your shoulder who keeps saying to you, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. And we don't want that. We want to get rid of that. Because this is one of the biggest problems initially with writing. We don't just let our ideas flow. We're always stopping ourselves. And we don't want to do that. In this instance, all we want to do is let our ideas flow. So what I've done is I've used the initial stimulus of the statement. What I remember is simple. So you've got an event and you've got a place and you've got a time that this happened, maybe last week. Or oh, well, it won't be last week, will it? Um, maybe a couple of years ago, whatever, it doesn't matter. And you start saying, what I remember is, and you just start writing down whatever you remember. And that becomes your free write. You don't bother about structure. You don't bother about spelling. You don't bother how interested you perceive it to be. You don't bother about any of these things. You just start writing it. So this is what we've got here in my example. You can see what I've done. I've just basically scribbled it. I've just written it down very quickly. And it's only about half a page. So if you want, that half a page can become one page, two pages, whatever. doesn't matter. So that's you got a free write. So you started with nothing and you've ended up with a free write. And you might be quite happy with that. You might be quite happy because what you've done is relive the memory. You have relived the memory and you've relived the enjoyment of the memory. That's the important thing. Excuse me, we'll have a... Tea with honey in it. My son advised me to put honey in it so as I could uh, speak better. So hopefully that's doing the trick. Always good to have children that advise you. They do, don't they? It's part of our job description. So I've written a poem called Renfrew Snapshot. The Renfrew Libraries, Renfrewshire Libraries asked me to do this. Um, and I've written it for you. To share with you and hopefully to share my ideas that you can subsequently translate into your own piece of free writing and share with others. That would be grand. During the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown, quite a mouthful that, isn't it? I wanted to share the memory I have of some happy times spent in Renfrewshire. I've been stored in my head over the year. Perhaps if you try the worksheets, then you'll be able to write your own happy memories that you can share with others, as I've said. So if you do that, I'd be very chuffed, big time. But in the meantime, I'll read you what I've written. Now what I've done is, I've written a poem in four verses. Each verse is about a different place in Renfrewshire. Loch Wunach, Barshaw, Erskine, and the Glenifer Grays. But if you're doing it, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can write about one place, one subject. You can write about a, an amalgam of subjects. You can write whatever you want. There's no right or wrong with this. What I would like you to do, if you can, is achieve your first free write. And then we could take it from there. So I'll read you this. 
and hopefully this will resonate with you in some form. Renfrewshire Snapshots Loch Winners, Orange Sunset over Ring Neck Ducks Bobbing on the surface of the Castle Semple Loch Fishermen casting spinners to lure perch or pike Stirring notes from distant bagpipes float into the air The edge of Barshaw Park's pond with bamboo pole nets catching baggy minis and sailing model yachts. A kiddies train chuntering its loop with smiling parents and children sitting astride, arms around each other's waists. Exciting. A picnic in the Bowden Boo car park. The billowing sails of the tall ships catch the breeze. Dwarfed by the majesty that is Erskine Bridge. At pace, they cut along the Clyde under the bluest of skies. Treks past yellow gorse bushes, watched by skylarks. Kestrels in a road here who grazes in the shadow of the mesmerising Craigalyn waterfall. We walk the ancient braes to explore Tannehill's well. Shafts of a summer sun poking through the trees. So, Hope that was enjoyable for you. Hope it evoked some memories of your own. Uh, it would be great if you could put them down in a piece of writing, whatever it may be. And remember, we're all involved in this lockdown just now. I've got to give a date check for this. This is the, the 1st of May 2020. This is for posterity, when we all become famous because we've, we've looked at this. We've looked at this subject and we've celebrated Renfrewshire. But we're also celebrating being out and about and our memories of that. And as I said, discussing a happy time with our family. So if you can do that, you're doing well, I would suggest. So my name's Brian Whittle and I thank you for giving me your time. And hopefully, I might be bumping into some of in the street. I go, go about Renfrewshire quite a lot. And I might be bumping into some people and have a wee chat with them and stuff like that. Uh, if that was possible, that would be great. If not, not to worry. Take care of yourself and stay safe. Thank you. Toodle pip.